What is the Philippine Province Renewed Province Plan for 2021-2023? It is the collective response of the Philippine Province, the Jesuits and its mission partners, our communities and our institutions to the challenges of the day. First, we have seen and experienced the havoc created by the COVID-19 virus, resulting in the great suffering of our people through illness and death, loss of lives and livelihood, and the worsening poverty and destruction of people's lives, hopes, and dreams. Indeed, the pandemic exposed the deeply embedded political, social, and economic inequalities in our society. Second, we have seen and experienced the creeping authoritarianism that has enveloped the Philippine nation, resulting in the death of thousands of Filipinos due to the war on drugs, the breakdown of the rule of law, the abuse of power and its impunity, the assault on and weakening of democratic institutions, the intolerance of dissent, and the almost total capitulation of our national interests to China. It is in this present context that we put forward our collective response through the renewed province plan in terms of the five trusts, namely, Trust 1, fostering integrity and accountability in our communities and our institutions. Trust 2, Feed the hungry, especially our children, and create sustainable livelihoods. Thrust 3. Summon our youth to engage citizenship. Thrust 4. Build faith-based hope and resiliency. And finally, Thrust 5. Cultivate personal and institutional ecological conversion. The urgent challenges of the day compel us Jesuits and our mission partners to first re-examine the fidelity of our way of life, to return to the Lord's call as articulated in General Congregation 36 for renewal of Jesuit life and mission, and together, to beg for God's grace to fulfill it. The pursuit of these province trusts relies heavily on our capacity as individuals, communities, and institutions to engage in personal and collective examination of conscience and to see how we can live out and struggle with our vowed commitments to Jesuit life and our shared mission. At the beginning of the pandemic last year, Pope Francis said in an interview, the pandemic can be a place of conversion. He invited us to reflect on how we as individuals and as a society can respond to the great suffering caused by the pandemic, especially to those in the peripheries. This pandemic can be a graced moment where we turn away from our selfish preoccupations and turn to the needs of those most impacted by the pandemic. The sick, dying, hungry, jobless, and losing hope. One year hence, we still have the opportunity to move towards that desired conversion as we celebrate two very significant events in 2021. We are grateful for the fifth centenary of Christianity in the Philippines and the fifth centenary of the conversion of St. Ignatius of Loyola. These two events can truly inspire and encourage us to live our Christian lives more faithfully and deeply. It can be a moment of grace as we plan and engage in activities related to these two centenaries. These twin celebrations, therefore, 
with the planning and implementing of the province plan can renew our experience with God by directing our efforts toward those most impacted by the pandemic and the volatile national and political landscape. Mary, patroness of the Philippines, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us.